Hello guys, welcome back. Today we're making some friends. Brand new friends. Uh, all six of them. I can't believe all six made it. I grabbed six just in case I had any issues, but this was uh, quite a trip. But, looks like we're here. So, welcome guys. Welcome to home. We're home. We finally made it. That took some time. But there's a mushroom biome, island biome. Not that, well, yeah, it's 2,000 blocks that way, but it's all ocean. It's all ocean. So I've just been sailing. Sailing nicely. If I go a little bit faster than this, I lose one. And I have to go back and get him. So I don't want to leave poor mushroom in the middle of the ocean. It's just That's just mean. We got all six. And... This is great. I like this. This is... Oh, it's it's good to be back, guys, right? You're gonna be happy you're on land, finally. Good times. Almost there. Almost there. So, I gotta get you guys... Get you guys ready. So we're gonna have some fun. I'm gonna try to keep all six of these. So, might even put them in, like, individual areas and have them named and stuff. But all these guys, they're they're going to be the main breeders, I think. And hopefully I'll be able to, like, distinguish them apart at some point. We'll see. But we, we've been on quite a, quite a trip, so I, I, I gotta, I gotta put some respect to them. You guys did good. You guys made it all the way. Uh, we just have to make it a little more without you falling off a cliff and dying or something. All right, let's. All right, let's get let's get them to land. Oh, good, the moon's going down. Oh, see, this is where things get tricky. You do not come over here. Oh man. Oh, okay. All right. There we go. Shoo! Screw you! Alright, how do I just get the mushrooms? I don't want these other things. Yeah, it's not gonna happen. That's okay. We'll figure out something. Just wanna get them over here into a pen somewhere. I didn't set anything up, but I'll get something. Alright, this is fun. Now I let them get all over the place. The scariest part is when I realized I only had brought one wheat. So if I accidentally right-clicked or anything, I'm in the middle of nowhere with only... Well, I'm at, I'm no more wheat, and I have to go get wheat and bring it back. Uh, I just did not want to accidentally right-click. Alright, so I got one... So there should be three over here somewhere. There they are. Come on, guys. Up. Up. Come on, up. Over here. Come on. Come on. I must have seen me by now. There they go. Okay. Over here. There you go. Alright, you guys can come too. Just got one cow. How did you, where did you climb out from? Alright, I guess I'll just put them all in there. Almost there. No creepers around that I've seen. Yeah, I'll just get the one cow. That's good. Two cats. Alright, cool. On in. Yeah, there you go. Hey, if you can climb out, that'd be cool. Yeah, come on. Come on. Come on. I don't want to kill you. Just come out. There you go. Ah, good boy. Good pig. Good pig. Alright, you come over here. You come over here with your friend. Your friend the zombie over here. And the other pig. Oop, the other two pigs. I got just clays everywhere now. I can't believe they nerfed that so much. It's back when clay was so rare. Oh, jeez. 
He's a troublemaker. Look at it. What? Don't do it, dude. Don't. Don't do it. You have everything to live for. Just, just calm down slowly. Um, he'll be fine. I'll get this one first. Not the chicken. Stay there, chicken. Stay there. Go. Stay there. It's okay. I don't want to hurt you. I like leaving wildlife around. Come on. Come on. Look at me, look at me. There you go. And... Okay. In you go. Nope. Alright. There you go. I don't know if I need even need to lift that up. But I'll lift it up. Alright, where's... Oh, right, he's on the cliff. Alright, man, where are you? Did you jump? You better not have jumped. You made it all this way. Alright, cool. Like, I don't like this place. It's a troublemaker here. I should keep you on your own. Yeah, I'm gonna isolate. I'm gonna isolate you. Okay. On in. Hey. Hey. Oh man, you are trouble. Seriously? There. Okay, good. Gotta make two trapdoors. Well, you have to make two trapdoors. Okay, you stay there. Okay, we have some mushrooms. Now, now the real fun begins. Uh, once I figure out what I'm gonna do with them. Yep. Okay, that was not easy. Alright, so I got one little one there, and one little one there. So I got them separated. I know which six are the originals, and now I gotta get out of here and wait for day. Alright, cool. Alright, so... I have been breeding some over here, but I seem to have lost two of the six originals. Ooh. But I'm guessing they were shoved into a wall, just like that one was. Oh man, that's sad. Well, I still have him, I still have these three, and I gotta get these guys into a proper pen so they don't kill themselves. Um, but I've been breeding these. Got a couple of little baby ones. I deliver them to people. Um, let's see. Well, last episode I checked out the Enterprise, and it's been a while since then. I haven't. I don't know. I took a break. Um, but I said I was gonna do a little more tour around, so we're gonna check out another place this time. I actually also want to check out the update on the Enterprise, because. He's, uh, I don't know, he, they saw my doors and they got, um, in the mood to do some more work on it. Um, oh yeah, and I'm gonna head over to spawn and I'll show you what we've been doing with that. Um, yeah, I did record, like, touring around a couple places, but I was just too t tired and after doing that whole door setup that I didn't get too much done. Alright, I am going to... I'm going to warp over to the spawn point now. Okay. Time for my amazing teleport spell to get me over to spawn. Wasn't that amazing? Oh, I forgot I slept in that bed. Sweet. Okay, right. Uh, ender chest. Very, very useful stuff here. Um, this is making it more, like, I don't want to work on my place too much, because it's way the hell out where I'm at, and I need to f fix up my track and get it all set so I, uh, can travel back and forth pretty easily, a lot easier. Alright, let me get so let me get up to the, uh, bird's eye view up there. And we're all set here. Um... Everything's pretty well mined out, well, for the sand-wise, and it's all just kind of caged around in a circle. Um, 
I think, I think that light is another skeleton spawner that I found. There's one there, there's one there, there's one there, there's one over there. There's skeleton spawners. I don't know what it was, but we got, we almost had, I don't think any of these are within range of each other, which really sucks, because two skeleton spawners within range of each other would just, oops, would be absolutely awesome. Well, so, yeah, we got all of it dug out, and now we're just, we'll just steadily work on this project, um, dig out the, ooh, I didn't put up my boots yet, yeah, ooh, I don't have my boots in my inventory, as far as I survived, wait, what the heck, uh oh, I hope they're down, I thought I took them off and put them in the, hmm, I have to remember that when I go back there, oh, right, let's help touch this. Sorry, I put it in there. Oh well, I'll have to get those later. Alright, well, yep, this should look good. Um, but this still has to- Oh, I keep jumping off things! I'm gonna kill myself- I'm gonna kill myself yet! But, uh, this is gonna get deeper after we dig everything out down here. And, um, it's not too much over here. So a lot of it's over here. But someone's been working on kind of, um, making sure the stronghold is safe. So, it's all hollowed out around around it nicely. Um, can't remember if I should this, but yeah. And this is all open to the sky on this section so far, which is cool. This is, okay, I haven't seen this actually lately either. Lots open up to the sky here. And, um, we'll see the walls towering around it. Glass walls holding back the ocean. We got a ravine over here. Let me check this out. Random grass block. Creeper. Alright, cool. Let me get back. Wait, I guess that's another Enderman block. Alright, let me get it back up there. Oh yeah, there is a a spawner right on the dungeon here. And I think this is one of the skeleton ones. Let's see. Oh, yep, it is. They left this alone. I don't know. I might want to just dig this out anyway. I don't know. It's kind of cool. It's kind of part of the fortress. I think one of the o like the opening over here is opens up into the fortress here. Yep. Goes down there and over here. Which is pretty cool. Um, there are some messier areas, like like caves intersected it, so it's all all over the place. But for the most part, this one stayed pretty clean. Not too much cave system messed it up or anything. Yeah, this ladder will take me out. So yep, that's the stronghold. Where am I? Oh yeah. And there's the portal right there, the glowstone on the top. Alright, let me get over here. Okay, so we're back where this part is. Now this... Um, we just kind of hollowed out the area underneath here, just to kind of think about what we'll do with it, because we figure we'll just have it open up, but... After some deliberation, deliberation and discussion and... I don't know, I think this is going to look better, like, as a water tunnel. And we'll see what we can do to the outside of the water tunnel. We could put, like, underwater um, ruins or something out there. But uh, the tunnel is getting pretty set. Might move this part in, in more. Not sure yet. But, uh, this tunnel, it's probably not going to be grass. We'll have some sort of stone pattern here. But uh, the glass is mostly set up, and this is kind of how it'll, how it'll be. Um, one rail will go inland, and one rail is for coming back. You know, if anybody wants to head back this way. And so they won't run into each other. Um, and we've been just kind of toying, toying with pattern ideas here. I don't know about the half slabs, but we were talking about the pistons, and this might be a cool path. 
set up upside down pistons. A lot of pistons, but eh, it's all right. As long as it looks good, and I don't, I'm positive, I'm 95% sure mobs can't spawn on them. I'll have to double check on that. And then on the sides over here, thinking about, you know, you can walk under it and look out at the water. So, maybe having a different type of side path, and just kind of fiddling with pattern ideas. And this is kind of an old one that I had that I... Threw down. I thought there was sandstone here. Well, I liked it having the sandstone instead of, uh, I don't know, it had, like, gray block. Oh, yeah, it was instead of this block. Hmm. I don't know why it's not there. I guess we're just checking different ideas here. Let me, let me put the sandstone in. We'll see what that looks like again. Okay, sandstone! Maybe it's a, a bit offsets it a bit too much. I'm not sure. Oh no, I think that looks cool. It's kind of a bold dis bold choice for kind of a pattern. It has all these different blocks and colors and stuff. But I think it looks pretty cool. I don't know if it will point that way or point this way yet, but I don't know, it's all different things. Oh yeah, and we were fiddling with um putting the tracks up on half slabs instead of these types of blocks, which would be cool because you can walk under it more, there's a little less uh, view blocking here. So the only issue with that is trying to figure out how to power them. So maybe just have a... Uh, well, do the half slabs like that and then have just a random redstone torch stick up and hit one solid block instead. Because I can't power this block to power the rail. It'd have to power from the side somehow. I'm not sure. We'll figure out something. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and we'll go ahead and activate activate this water here. Uh, this is gonna look pretty good. I'm thinking glass wall not sure, but maybe a waterfall that opens up when you go through. I'm not sure. I don't know how I'm going to make that work. I probably could make that work. No idea how yet, and how big it will be. I have to do it at that end. Run down there. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So, we're just filling in the water. Eh, all that water that we emptied out. But we're we'll only have the top layer as uh, source blocks, and then we'll just have the water pouring down. So, it'll look the same. And, um, if we ever need to dig it out again, and we only have to just fill in the top layer, and it'll get rid of it all. Decide this was a horrible, horrible mistake, horrible idea, but I think it's gonna stick. I think it's gonna look good. All right, Ooh, that looks cool. It's, all right, I'm gonna. Go, I actually kind of want to go ahead and dig this out now. I just have to dig this top one though. So far, and it should fill it in. And then after that, we'll um, dig out the dirt and the uh, well, I guess the walls, and that, then the tunnel will be filled, filled with water pouring down. Okay, this looks kind of cool. Alright. Here comes the water. It's already like a big path. Pretty cool. Um, I'm gonna get rid of this wall, as I can use the sand trick. I could also get my, um, my aqua... My underwater helmet of digging awesome. I kind of come work on that. But I could also just like throw a pressure plate down on this, and it'll get rid of the sand all under the pressure plate because it works like a torch method. Um, 
Hmm. See, I want to get this done before we design the floor down there, because I don't know what the uh, the coloring will look like down underneath there after we get this done. I thought I had a... This isn't my shovel. What am I doing? Hmm. Okay. There. What's in here? There it is. Okay. Much better. This this should be better. And there we go. Much better. Okay. Wait, wait, I'm just like going right along. Speed of a snail. I got a good method for doing this without screwing up the well I guess I can hit the wall, it doesn't matter yet right now. Yeah, blocks are gonna fall off to the side there though. I'm gonna throw around fetching those. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna pull, get my helmet back. Of course I think I left it back at my place. But what was I saying? Yeah, the coloring down there. Just don't know what it's gonna look like. Is that my under chest? I don't know. Oh, I picked it up. Alright. So, I wanna get this done. Might try to Leave it dark, no torches, and just have spawnable blocks that, you know, mobs can't spawn on blocks. Um, like the pistons and the uh, half slabs on the sides, so we won't have to light up anything. It'll just be a dark, watery tube. But I have no idea if that's going to look good, because, I don't know, sometimes the colorings, you just never know until you try. So, no clean this up, and we'll be back. Alright. It's all set. I saved a lot of the dirt. I had some despawn right in front of me. That was... That's always sad. But... Alright. Not bad. Okay. Ooh, I keep, like, falling. Be careful. I gotta go make up my... get my boots. I know they won't despawn until I'm over there, but I better make sure I get them soon so I don't forget when I head back over there. Alright, let's see. Her roommate's cat meowing in the background there for no reason. Hmm. Um, right, uh, let's see. This looks pretty good. I have to get rid of these walls to see what this really looks like. Maybe put some of the, the floor in here. Alright, I'm gonna get rid of these walls. I suppose mobs, I'm not getting, like, even random mobs spawning down here sometimes, like... ...in the rare chance that they're able to. Just been lucky, I guess. Alright, water curtain here, blocked by the ladders there. So, I'm going to... I can't use, like, the torch method, but I can use... The shovel, and I can also use the uh, the pressure plate. So I'm gonna have to get my underwater breathing helmet for this. At least take down one of these walls and see what this looks like. Um, yeah. All right. Well, I'll be back. All right, I'm back. Um, and it is an entirely different day. I felt I kind of needed to finish this up to kind of wrap up the episode because I've been stalling on it, but I figured out some things that'll help my frame rate and my recording in general, so that should be good. Um, let's see, I'm back out here. I actually found out I actually put my feather fall boots in, uh, in a chest, so good, nice and safe. And I brought my good old special helmet here. And let's see if this method will work. I don't know if there's any other types of blocks. I did talk about wanting to do a, uh, like, a tour around some other places, and I'm obviously not going to get to it this time, but it'll be another time. Ooh, that is trippy like crazy. Just because of how the, how you look at the glass blocks from the angle. I wonder if recording that comes out looking the same. Huh. Anyway, um, alright, so we're gonna do this. Let's see. Alright. 
Yeah, that should be good. And I can just pop out the pressure plate. One little click. Good thing about pressure plate. And I can pretty much stay underwater for a long, long time. Oop. Yeah, I'll go back through and get the pressure plates, I guess. I only have to take a breath every once in a while. I'm bad at this. Let's see. Oh, that works. Air, air, I need air. Actually, I don't need it anytime soon, really. Alright. That works. Actually, yeah, I could do that. Well, no, let's see. If I dig out this... Actually, if I dig out this one, I push the pressure plate there, then when I come back through, I can just dig out that block, and it'll get rid of both. That wastes more shovel durability, but doesn't waste more pick. And that's probably more efficient. So, I do it like that. Oh, unless the shovel's just too awesome, and it's hard to break the only one block. Too awesome. I'll just dig out the dirt underneath. Oh. And I can always get air right here. I can't really reach. Full breath, and I'm infinitely underwater again. Oh, yeah, I have inventory. Why can't I pick that up? Is it up here? There it is. Alright, well, I'm gonna clean up. Wow, this is looking kind of cool already. Alright, I can't wait till this is open. Alright, I'll come back when this is... These are... These walls are torn down. Okay, just finished up here. And... Kind of cool. I really gotta see without the lights, I think. I went ahead and grabbed some slabs. I'll probably fill in the floor here and just kind of... So I can at least get the lights out of here and see what it looks like. Also, yeah, I definitely want to see about getting the uh, half slabs down. Because that'll cut... That'll make it so you can see out. Do you want the, the walking path and the tracks? I think the having the walking path, too, would be pretty cool. Ah, it's really dark out there. Yeah, I figured it would be. Still might be cool. Um, basically, when you're in the track, your head's gonna be in there, in the, in the ceiling, so... You'll see right outside. Um... Hmm, I wonder... Well, I just don't know how anything's gonna look until I get this light out of here, I guess, and then try it out. So, I guess I'll, yeah, I guess I'll do that. I'll fill these in, and, alright, we'll be back. There's one. I've been wondering, I guess I just haven't lit up caves around here enough. Um, I haven't even gotten random spawns down here, like, in between having darkness and stuff, which is what I usually get when I work out in my area, because there's a lot more stuff litting up. It just seems strange. I love machine gun shovel here. Alright. Um, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna put fill this in with these stone bricks for now, just because... I don't know, it's just kind of temporary. I just want to see what this looks like. Ooh, okay, I gotta see what this looks like. Alright, I'll be back when I finish it up. All right, here we go. Nice and rainy. Actually, no, I'm not the only one on. Oh well. So, yeah, this is looking really good. Actually, these pistons are glowing. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Yeah, this is neat. In the darkness. I think that it might be good to have, like... If there's, like, spotted areas along here where there's, uh, redstone torches lighting up this track, that might be a cool kind of lighting effect. Let's see. Mm, maybe. Maybe. What if there's a way I can get it powered there somehow? I don't know. Well, that's, that puts the light over there. Hmm. 
Yeah, that's probably worse. Uh, but this is cool. The, f the full darkness. So I might just have to use levers here instead. Uh, let's see. Totally went through every half slab. Just kind of threw everything down. I had fill out the area that I marked out for myself here. Yeah, I like the the dark. Have to look at it when it's rain, not raining. But it's probably about the same. That's really cool. Oh, you know what I need to change is the let's see, smooth lighting. Oh wait, is that right? Um. Oh, that's right. Okay. Oh yeah, I usually have like that off for like competitive stuff, just so you can see the light levels of things. Pretty much, you could see it, like, easily right away. This is smooth lighting right here, but it's still kind of... has a line to it. Let's see. Oh, well, that's not too much different. Maybe one of my other graphic settings is overriding that somehow. I don't know. I also made my GUI smaller recently, and... I've been liking it. It's nice. Alright, let's see. So, yeah, this is cool. Alright, I'm gonna have to do something with this. Oh, yeah, these pistons. Let's see. There's obviously torches under here or something. There we go. Okay, I actually have some blocks on me. Oh, right, I can't fill that in. Um, I'll go up here. Go ahead and put these pistons back in. One, two, three. Uh, yep. Fill it in so nothing spawns down there. So I don't know how long this temporary thing will be put in place. Yeah, that's pretty good. This is gonna have to be four wide. But, uh... Yeah, definitely, definitely half slabs. Gotta get these half slabs in somehow. And then somehow power it. So that looks... I mean, just the the field of view is so much nicer. And this could also be at, like, this height. Let me see. Could even do the half slab four at this height. Then you could still walk under it. And look out. The half slab at this height puts you under this block. I don't know. Too many different... Lots of different options. I do like the piston path. I think it'll be good against the, the side here. Alright, I don't know how dark this is, so... That looks good. Definitely will be kind of a cool path. We'll have to decorate it up a little bit. Maybe the outside. Oh, I should ride the track. I'll ride the track. Yeah, look, look at how much you can see out there when it's here compared to down here. Ooh, spooky. Well, this is not at ground level. Almost. Alright, let me ride this track. and I think it's broken, so I gotta turn it on. Okay. So let's try this out. I like the the entranceway looks kind of cool. Alright. So, let's try this minecart. Oh yeah, the, um... We were trying out the... Let's see, detector rail? Like, alternating detector rails? Oop. I can get up. Uh, okay, maybe not on this one. See, down there, that one has a uh, detector rail on it. So it'll trigger it, and then set in signal, and it'll continue downward. But... Uh, they just don't seem stable enough. Um, that that will just screw up sometimes on if there's like a lag spike, or any kind of... If somebody's a little... Latency is not as great, it just, it just gets them stuck in the middle of the uh, unpowered rail, and... Uh, it's just not consistent enough, so we'll just have to go with the powered rail, which, yeah, I think I'll figure out a way to light this up with redstone torches. It'll be kind of a cool lighting here. 
Alright. Here we go. Yeah, cool. You can see right out there pretty easily. And then yeah, the when you get to the light here, the glass, because the glass is brighter, it's harder, a lot harder to see around you. So yeah, that's it. It's coming along. That's what it's going to look like, basically. Uh, I didn't power this one up. I can't really go reverse on this one. Nope. <laughs> Wait, I know. I... I will go reverse in this one. Hit. Alright. Go! I just have to hold forward and... Oh, right. Oh, nuts. Okay, well that's not gonna work. That's okay. That looks good. We'll definitely do something with that with for this. And I guess that's it. I'll end this here. And I'll see you guys next time.